So now it's time to start making this blog your own. Um, <clears throat> the first thing you might want to do is delete those blog posts and comments that were um, added to your site by WordPress. The simplest way to do that is to go up here to posts and this is where you can manage all the different um, blog posts and you can see that hello world is the one that was added. If I just hover over it I get a lot of different options down here one of which is move this item to trash so we're just going to trash this blog post so that uh, parents don't have to see that. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to um, start taking control of my theme. So everything to do with what your blog looks like is here in the drop down menu under appearance. And so if you click on appearance you'll see that the theme that is a part of our website is the 2011 uh, 1.2 theme and underneath the description of the theme there are some options. We're not going to worry about widgets or menus at the moment but we can click on theme options and it gives us some fairly simple um, options here. Uh, if you want you can play with the color scheme and the link color. Um, the link color is just the color that links on your blog will uh, will be so people know their links and if you just click on the color box here you'll get a color circle and you can pick the color you want. What I'm more interested in is the default layout so the basic blog layout usually has the sidebar on the right hand side however if you would prefer to put on the left hand side um, then all you have to do is toggle uh, this circle here and it's possible that you don't want a sidebar at all in which case you can um, just do it as one whole column. I'm going to stick with uh, having my content on the left and my sidebar on the right but I am very interested in changing the background and the header of my blog so that they better reflect my classroom. I'll start with the header so if you click on header you will see that the header image is a little bit of a different sized photograph. So you have a couple options here. If you know how to crop a photo yourself, um, if you want to crop it to a thousand by 288 pixels, then the exact crop photo uh, will show up as is at the header of your blog. If uh, you're not sure, you can just go ahead and pick a picture that you uh, think will make a good header. So you can go choose file. So you want to try and pick a picture that you know you like sort of the top portion of. Um, I'm going to try this one of the flowers. Then once you've selected it, click upload. And it'll take a minute to upload. And then you'll be presented with your picture and there's a box that you can move up and down the picture um, to pick the part of the picture that you want to be your header. So in this case I'm going to move it right up to the top and then scroll down and go crop and publish. And so that's what the header of my uh, website is now going to look like. I could visit the site, click on teacher training blog or here it gives me the option to visit your site to see how it looks. So I'll take that one and see how my site looks now. So that's how you change the header and uh, in the next one we'll talk about changing the background.